This model is a limited edition and it's been commissioned by Maguire's Models of the UK. It's by WSI and it's a Mercedes-Benz Aux plus low loader. And the collector card confirms it's one of a limited run of 200 models in the colours of Ruttall Plants. As you can see, the packaging is what it always is for WSI truck models. And we follow the usual procedure. We cut the tape and we pull out the various parts. And there are a few included with this model. One nice inclusion is a leaflet for the Notabom trailer. And it shows you the model on one side and there's information about the real trailer on the other side. Just a reminder that you can see all of the reviews made by Cranes Etc over on the Cranes Etc website. Over a thousand models have been reviewed and each one's got its own report. Also, if you'd like to support Cranes Etc going forwards, then head over to the Cranes Etc Patreon page where you can sign up to support our work and get some rewards too. Assembling the trailer is easy enough. We connect the deck to the rear module and then with the excellent hands that are cranes etc we feed in the steel pin. That robustly connects the two parts together and then we can move on and add the gooseneck. These parts like to get hooked up and that's what they do. And to cement the relationship there's a special spacer piece which goes in and that makes the angle between the gooseneck and the deck correct. With that, the main assembly of the trailer is complete. So we can reverse in the Aerox to join up the tractor and the trailer. And as usual, clunk click does the trick. With the main assembly done, we can get on with some of the small stuff and we start with the hoses from the gooseneck to the trailer deck. And then we can add in some marker boards onto the gooseneck. After that, we make our way down to the rear and plug in a marker board assembly on top of the module. And the assembly is completed with a plate that goes into the end of the trough of the module. As you would expect, we start underneath the Aerox and the gearbox, the transmission and suspension are all modelled in metal and it all has a detailed appearance. The Aerox cab looks particularly good with a light bar and graphics. And that big grille is distinctive and stands out. There's also an accurate number plate. This Ruttall colour scheme is particularly attractive. There are nice graphics and the whole thing looks great. There's some tiny detailing on the low loader, including the control console with its dials visible. And if we look at the rear module in Australian mode, we see that the pendle axle assemblies are in metal. Moving on to the low loader deck and the plastic replica timbers have got the bolt holes visible. And there's some nice detailing down the edges with the yellow stripe and fold out brackets. The rear module is also nicely textured and more bolt holes are visible in the access plates above the wheel assemblies. The tiny Notabom graphic looks great. And there are more interesting details at the back of the trailer. With the Arox having a well earned rest, we'll have a look at the steering. And as you can see, the steering is nicely linked, but as is often the case, the range of movement is limited. Out on the Cranes Etc test track, this particular Aerox was not the smoothest rolling that we've seen. And if we set the steering, we can see the very limited amount that is possible. The mechanism is also slightly loose, and the steering tries to wobble about a bit. Moving on to one of the nicer bits of all tractors, and that's to tilt the cab, because then we can see that there really is an engine underneath. On this particular Aerox though, the cab was a little bit reluctant to stay tilted. Back to the rear axle module of the trailer, and you can see here that it's got fully linked steering. And in terms of the steering mode, it seems closest to parallel steering rather than proportional steering. The other main feature of the deck is that we can go large and carry some of the bigger things in the display case. There are some other options available for the deck and that includes adding deck posts, and there are plenty of them if you like sticking long thin things into holes. The other configuration option that you have is to extend the deck width. And to do that you need to fold out all of the little brackets on the deck edges. And then you ever so carefully add the replica timbers on top of the brackets. Okay, let's give this Ruttle plant truck something to carry. And a foundation rig will fit the bill. So here we have an ABI mobile ram. 
and that makes the whole display look interesting. The Ruttle plant colour scheme is one of the more attractive ones, and Maguire's models and WSI have produced something that looks really good. It's also nice that it's a properly certificated limited edition, and that adds to its collectability just as much as the high detail and features. Overall, it's easy to rate as very good.